The harbor was a real place. It was this was in the southwest corner of Kentucky, Paducah, Kentucky, right on the Mississippi, uh, where I spent my early years. Uh, and this place was a opening uh, in the landscape of about um, 350 feet by uh, oh, 100 feet with vegetation on all sides of it so that in the rainy season it would fill out with water and then in the summer it would be completely dry and you could walk through it. So anyway, with that mystique, when I, it was really an awesome place when I was growing up. And so uh, this was in back of uh, our house and so that's what I was painting. Well, that's a lovely, lovely painting. Uh, why don't you tell us about the painting that's over that on the wall, the black and white painting? Yes, this is a sand painting, and this was uh, a this was uh, inspired by the Bayule and uh, the Bayule tribe, and um, it's always this this uh, the idea of good and evil, good and bad. And so, and of course, you're using black and white, the light and the dark. So, I understand you had that in the show recently. Yes, both of these were were shown recently, and um, the the whole idea was to limit my means to the white and the black. And then, and this one, of course, because it is a print. Oh, this is like a print. A paint. It's not a painting. No, it, it's a print. Because it's a stencil print. And in other words, the shapes were cut out. Uh, the ones that are white were covered, and the ones that are black in the gradation were sprayed in. Mm -hmm. So I was spraying the around the shapes. And of course, this was the this was reversed. The letters were white, so I could spray inside them for the words un uh, nihilism. Um, and what does nihilism mean? Well, it, it really means self-hate, but uh, literally it's uh, negation and, of course, on anything with on in it is negation, but nihilism is hate, self-hate. Mm -hmm. So the idea is to un, uh, undo that, and so that I thought of the word on nihilism. Well, moving from those wonderful black and whites into all of this color, tell us about what this painting uh, signifies. Well, th this painting also is is based generally on um, African ideas. Uh, the the totems. I remember seeing Henry Morris totems in the '60s when I was on Fifth Avenue in New York, and they were so impressive. They they must have been, I guess, about um, 25 feet high, uh, and, and um, these are tiny in comparison to that, but the idea was three totems in conversation. And so that's where I got the idea for that. And what medium is that? Uh, sand painting. Oh, okay, great. Yeah, sand well, what about this colorful painting to the right? Yes, this was one of the uh, centering, a uh, part of the centering series from 1971. The whole idea of a centering is that there is a center. So not only is the square a center, but then the circles are made for, for uh, another part of the centering. So you have all of these things adding up to the centering. And um, the uh, medium is acrylic. And this is nothing but acrylic. No oil. I didn't mix this at all. But uh, it's acrylic on canvas. And this was done in 1971. This painting was shown at the University of Maryland Wilkins Avenue in uh, a solo exhibition there. Oh, that's great. Let's bounce over here to uh, the wall to the right. Uh, it looks like you have uh, more collage and also sand paintings, and I'd like to make certain that we share those with you. Yes, everyone. this is one of my favorite pieces, and it was literally made from scrap pieces. But it inspired me, um, I think I did a print before this of Doors, Windows, uh, the history of uh, time. Uh, and I tried to use these windows, these boarded up windows, like you see in the city, 
to, to add historic forms and historic uh, spaces in these windows. Uh, here's Tutankhamun, uh, Ramses, Queen Tai, uh, the pyramids, uh, the different views of the pyramids, the way the light comes into the pyramids, uh, some of the West African ancient uh, animal forms, bird forms, uh, the, the, uh, some of the Egyptian uh, two-dimensional and three-dimensional forms. So that's a combination of prints and collage? Yeah, oh, it, okay. it's, uh, it, it, was all, it was all used to uh, fill in the blank windows. Instead of uh, when you see these boarded up houses, this is my uh, visualization. Instead of having board, just boards, uh, I, I think some people in the inner city began to paint the boards. Mm -hmm. And that gave me the idea. So it really wasn't original. I saw them. I mean, they would actually paint uh, like a kitchen scene on a blank board as though somebody was living in this building. Mm -hmm. So that gave me the idea of just turning it into something more historic. Okay. This is a sand painting also. And this was uh, an early one. Uh, I think this was uh, 03. But this was very academic compared to the later ones, the abstract one with the trellis and the flowers. But uh, both of them are sand paintings. Well, this is terrific. Mr. Jones, this has been a wonderful, wonderful afternoon spent with you in conversation regarding art. We really appreciate your time and the fact that you would invite us to your studio to look at your lovely artwork. Thank you well, so much. Thank you so much for coming.